Just got this in, so this is the Meteor 65 Whoop from Beta FPV. Today we're going to review it and talk about why I didn't really like it and ended up returning it. But before we do that, just a quick overview. This is a 65mm brushless drone with an F4 flight controller. It runs on 0802 22,000 kV motors. Now it's powered by Beta FPV's own BT 2.0 connector and currently these are the 300 milliamp hour LIHV batteries that you can get to power it. This Whoop has high kV motors and the advertised flight time is 2 minutes in full throttle and 2 minutes 30 seconds of smooth flight time. Now my experience was not near this. I would barely clock 1 minute and 30 seconds most of the time that I was flying. All these flights were conducted indoors so they weren't really full throttle and for that environment that's just really terrible performance. And I'll continue to elaborate on this as we move forward in the review because I think there are a lot of elements at play here. But flight time wasn't the only issue. My Meteor 65 had flight characteristics that were problematic for me right out of the box. In my flights, I was getting these little snaps and jerks in my controls. Uh, it was really unenjoyable to fly with that happening because I was fixated on it. It would just throw me off. I wasn't really sure what was going on. You know, was it a loose prop? Maybe was it a, a notchy motor? It definitely had me baffled. After running several packs through it and researching the problem, I finally found Nick Burns' video. He said his prototype model of the Meteor 65 had the same issue. The fix for this was to change the drone to use D-Shot 300 rather than D-Shot 600 and run 8K, 2K for the PID loop in beta flight settings. It looked like my batch of Meteor 65 unfortunately had the incorrect settings applied, so I changed them to match Nick's. After I changed the D-Shot settings and the PID loop, the jerks were gone and the drone flew differently, but I still wasn't enjoying the flight experience. Uh, to be more specific, the tune just did not feel right. I hated how it handled turning corners, yawing, and doing similar maneuvers like that in angle mode. Now this can be a difficult quad to get a handle on indoors as well, I think, due to the very high KV of the motors. You know, I tried applying a throttle scale limit to tame the controls in beta flight, and I also adjusted my rates, which did help a bit, but overall these things did not resolve what I felt was just a bad tune. You know, even after that change to D-Shot 300, the flight time was still terrible as well. Now, after some back and forth with Beta FPV on the issue, they initially suggested that a 22,000 kV motor can get anywhere from 1 minute and 30 to 2 minutes of insane flight. That's not really what the Amazon product page says, and I, I'm not really sure what insane meant, but I don't think that the flights in my house are really insane, especially the ones with a throttle limit applied. They suggested that I should try the 19,500 kV motors for a better flight time, and that they could send me some of those for free. But they wanted me to try setting it to D-Shot 600 first to see if the flight time improved. I'd already done that. So then, once I communicated that, they believed that my problems were actually battery issues, and they wanted to send me some new batteries. We never got that far, though. Um, they told me they wanted to send their new flight controller so that I could replace the FC. Apparently their new controller has Jazz ESC firmware loaded on it. Now this was like a once a week ping pong kind of back and forth conversation style about all this. You know, giving feedback then waiting for a response. And well at this point now we get into more about why I really returned the Meteor 65. And, and we need to talk money here now. This is a $110 65mm Whoop on Amazon. Easily one of the most expensive Whoops in its class that you can buy. Then we have the batteries. Beta FPV is the only one selling batteries with this connector at this time that I'm aware of. Now you have to make the jump and you have to buy 
all new batteries if you're really going to enjoy this. Now that will be $30.99 for a pack of eight batteries. Now, how do you charge those batteries? Okay, so if you have a multi-charger like mine or you have a parallel charge board, uh, you're going to need adapters for all this or you're going to have to buy their charger one or the other. I personally would prefer to use my parallel charge boards. <laughs> There's the adapters. That's really going to be the only way that you can charge these things in a realistically fast time. And you also need to buy extra propellers because uh, there are none in the box. I looked, there's no extra props for me in the box and I didn't see any in the product description. So yeah, you don't get any extra props here and that's gonna be another $5 for that. When it's all said and done, I think that this is a hefty investment for a Whoop. You are looking at around, you know, for all of this stuff. And if you decide to get, you know, extra connectors or anything like that, it's gonna cost you around, you know, anywhere from $150 to $160 for the whole thing. You know, this right here is to me the true price of admission to owning uh, the Meteor 65 and really actually enjoying it. Now, I'm a hobbyist, I enjoy working on things, but to me, this is just too much money for something that just should have worked right out of the box. From beta FPV in particular, I expected things to be a little more polished than this. And although, yes, they offered replacement parts, I just didn't want to play repairman or troubleshooter with this thing anymore. It felt like a little kick in the teeth as well that apparently an updated 1S flight controller is coming out with a BB 2.1 and that better Jazz ESC firmware. But this is, thing is a roughly a month and a half old at this point, and it's you know already outdated. I don't know, just spend more time figuring out how I could be happy with it when I was still within the return window to just, you know, return it. I, I guess I just lost interest. It, it just didn't make sense. I'm skeptical also as to whether or not new batteries would have made much of a difference because the battery that came with it in the box, as well as these batteries, you know, both exhibited the same issues. Both are bad. Maybe, but I think that's pretty unlikely. I do applaud Beta FPV for being brave enough to try something different with their connector. Uh, this new BT 2.0 connector, I think, is a great step in the right direction. There's been a lot of testing done at this point by other channels about this connector, and there's certainly some great advantages to it. Maybe I'll consider using it in the future, but for now, I'm not going to use it just to put up with a Whoop that just wasn't a good experience for its overall price and where you can only get the batteries for it from Beta FPV. So if you guys already have the Meteor 65 and you can't return it or you're having trouble with flight times and you're not happy with the flight characteristics and tune, but you're willing to tinker and tune it, I would recommend looking in the direction of upgrading that ESC firmware. The biggest efficiency gains for Whoops right now that I'm seeing in all the groups is definitely coming from ESC firmware and RPM filtering. In some cases, you may have to pay if you use a firmware called JESC. The Jazz ESC firmware is free. There's pros and cons to both of them. Uh, it's some stuff you're going to have to research and put it on there. As for me, I just really wasn't willing to mess with it. As as I said. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please remember to leave a like on this video and I would love to hear from you regarding your Meteor 65 experience. Did you get similar flight times that I did? Are you having a perfect experience? If you are, did you get a new flight controller for it? And did that resolve the problem? I would really love to know and that kind of information is would be useful to all of us out there who might have bought it or maybe looking to buy it. And that's part of why I'm making this video. This is my experience. It may not be yours. You might buy it and it'll work fine, but that's what happened with me. And I think that this was a, an experience worth sharing with all of you. All right. So that's it, guys. As always, have a great day.